your child has thoroughly studied the multiplication tables and is now ready to take the facts that he or she has learned and put them into to actual problem solving with several digit multipliers. Multiplying numbers together is, can be done in several different ways. Currently in school we've got something called a box method, a lattice method. This is a more traditional kind of, of um, problem setup. I'd like to show a variety of ways that children are now exposed to this to actually doing multiplication problems. I know you're going to you're going to bump into these when your child brings home those worksheets for for homework. Um, but I also want to impress upon you that there are so certain rules or patterns to multiplying that actually can help a child not only get the right answer but get it quickly. Of course, knowing the multiplication facts are an important part of any calculation. But place value also is an important feature when multiplying in order for the, the numbers that are designated to the ones or the tens or the hundreds column end up there. Your child will have to keep place value in mind. As usual in math, there are a lot of patterns that occur. When your child has an understanding of those patterns and can look for them, your child will be able to use those strategies in order to help smooth out the multiplication process and arrive at the correct answer in less time. So with that being said, I would like to show you some of the patterns that occur. When a person understands that the calculation of multiplication can be easier if they understand how to use the tools of place value, of the different patterns that we see with some numbers when multiplying, and when they keep in mind the commutative property, it's easier to use any of the models. So with that being said, let's discuss. Place value is really your child keeping the problems, keeping his numbers or her numbers in the correct uh, columns, whether it be the ones column, the tens column, the hundreds column, and so forth, while doing the work. A child who has trouble with uh, keeping the, their columns straight could easily take their, their uh, work paper and turn it this way. So the, the lines of the notebook paper are actually showing the columns more clearly. The patterns of the different numbers I'll discuss in a moment. Let me jump down to the commutative property, which basically says when you're adding or when you're multiplying, it doesn't matter which number comes first or second in the book. times 17 is the same as saying 17 times 36. You can flip these numbers and still get the same answer. Which leads me, of course, to the patterns. There are certain numbers that work better when you use them last in the problem. So, place value, keeping the columns straight, patterns, understanding how the numbers actually work and some of the, the tricks of, the, uh, of using the different numbers and understanding that the commutative property, it doesn't matter which way that you write your problem, it can be this way, a sideways with the 36 first or the 17 first, or you can line it up vertically if you were gonna do it a more traditional way and it wouldn't matter if the 36 was on the top or the bottom, it would still give you the same answer.